Things have been kind of rough. Whoa, hectic. Yeah. It's yeah, been yeah. a little bit stressful. can't steal my hello. <laughs> because I realise when I say hello with you, when I do my hello, it sounds late. Cheesy, I know. So because my I hello <laughs> is overpowering. It's powerful, Louise. <laughs> Things have been kind of rough. Whoa. Oh, hectic. Yeah. It's yeah, been yeah. a little bit stressful. Even last night, things were really oh, stressful because no. JP is not feeling too well. He's sleeping in his room at the moment oh. and he got really sick. And I put him in the bed next to me and he just went Bleh, all over the bed. <laughs> oh. And I was like, okay, that's it. No sleep tonight. <laughs> We're all not feeling well because we have been stressed. Yeah. As you know. And super busy. And super busy. As you know, we moved. We moved. We came back from America. We were looking for an apartment. We couldn't find one that could accommodate us. Eventually the perfect place happened yeah everything fell into place we knew our prayers were answered and so we moved but it was not easy no all those no's were because this was the yes yeah no matter how stressful it's been i just love my new house it's i love so it as well it is in the perfect location and another reason why i love living here in italy in the center check this out my own opera show Look guys, there's a parade going on downstairs. Look JP, look. Look out the window. Wow. It is so cool living yeah. here right on the piazza. Look at it, it's like a military parade. <laughs> But it has been a stressful move. Yeah. First of all, it's in the very center of a pedestrian area only. Yeah. Which makes it pretty complicated to even get in here. So you have to get permission from the police to drive in this area. And they had to get all sorts of lifts to reach our apartment to bring in the furniture as yeah. well. They had to bring all our things through the window. Then on top of all of that, we had all our stuff in storage. As you know, we used to live in a really nice big villa. Be careful what you wish for, because <laughs> in the villa, I kept saying, you know, the kids are in their different rooms and sometimes you, don't, you just feel so disjointed. Yeah. You don't know where everybody yeah. is. And as a family, I really prefer to be, you know, together. Yeah. Over the next few months, we were too much together. Together, yeah. <laughs> this place is so much better because we're just closer together. It's a smaller place because it's a city apartment. So I said, I want to come and live in an apartment in a nice urban area because I just love cities. I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but I love that. I just yeah. love being able to go downstairs, get my coffee, walk and buy my fresh fruit and vegetables and I just love the movement Especially of the city. in Italy, it's, it's yeah. kind of the romantic idea of what Italy is. And it is like. very romantic. So, the tricky thing is now moving into a smaller place when you have so much stuff. Yeah. Don't take that, take this, don't take that. But even still, they brought so much stuff that we did not even need. Mm -hmm. And they just piled it everywhere. These were the worst movers ever. And so yeah. our rooms were oh, packed with boxes. It was horrible. It was kind of crappy because we had to like make little nests in between boxes to like sleep. <laughs> It's like so nice to have your own home and everything and the kids are all excited to but in fact it didn't even feel like your home because it just feels like a big mess. mess. I know what it feels like to sort of live like a hoarder. <gasps> yeah. Have you watched those I... shows on TV <laughs> where people live in this like over the course of the next two, three weeks we've done nothing but move, move stuff. back into the storage. A person just keeps so much stuff, stuff that you, you don't, don't really need. It. need. You don't need all the stuff, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I've had to give so much stuff away yeah. to charity and luckily in Italy they've got like these big bins that you put things in and then you release it and it drops yeah. and you can throw uh, old clothes, toys, games, shoes, that kind of yeah. thing in these bins and it gets sent to Africa and oh, given to yeah. a lot of poor people, right? I think it's Africa. It yeah, I think it's Africa. Yeah. And now the house is starting to look livable and yeah. normal. It's not yet finished. No. We're still putting up I'm things putting up and curtains decorating. And things and, and, yeah. 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 But it really feels like home and it is just so wonderful. And it is the best time because it is spring outside and there are people everywhere. When I open my windows, there is music in the piazza. Lots of people enjoying it's themselves. A lot of life and I around, love that. Yeah, yeah. 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 a lot that. of young people. It's like the perfect environment for us. For us, that, yeah. what we personally like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if any of you ever watched our previous house tour, you'll know that we used to live in the country here in Italy. And it was super quiet, super peaceful. Now we live in a village in the dead center. I want to show you how busy it is. Can you hear that? Luckily, these windows are like double pane. But check out how active and busy it is around here. Should we call the car, JP? Okay, let's show everybody how we do that. One of the best things about this place that we moved into is the car lift. We call it the Batman car lift. We think he lives in the building. That's it behind us over there. In a few seconds, a car will come up. Where does it come from? Apparently there's like six floors underneath us and our car gets parked there overnight. I'd love to do a video on what happens down there at night time. I think the cars come alive. Chippy. Look. Oh, and it spins. It spins. Look at that. Dude. Open sesame. It's ready for us to go in. Come. This baby Jake's. He's all warm and cozy in his seat. Look at him. Baby Jake. Hello, baby Jake's. Okay, are you ready to get buckled in? No. No? <laughs> okay, Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Look how narrow that is, guys. We've got to get through there. Don't Before mind. we moved here, they asked us, like, what car do you have? Because if your car's too big, you can't live here. So okay. my silver bullet was just right. Yes, yes. I love my silver bullet. My silver bullet skadonk. Whoops. Mom, the, ba the, the car. You see, she forgets this all the time. I have, I have only ever forgotten And it wrecks the whole system. Oh, something oh, just happened there. Happening. Let's see Do what I press it a is. button, Lou? No, no, just pull it out. Okay. Something just happened in the piazza. And look, it starts closing up at the back. Oh, what's going on? Let's check, let's check. Oh, dear, they rode it's into somebody. Like oh, look, they're having a dark argument. It's an argument. Oh, but look, now they're smiling and they're like, smiling. gonna buy each other coffee. <laughs> I love Italy. Nobody fights check, each look, other. Look, look. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, How's your mama inside. doing? Now we have to drive through the piazza. Pedestrians. pedestrians. It's kind of weird because you're not allowed to drive in this No, piazza. we had to get special permission and like everybody pole, looks at us like pole. You stupid foreigners, you can't drive here. I know, it's so embarrassing. Why no, not? they wouldn't say it with that accent. They'd be like, what do you think you're doing? You can't drive here. <laughs> this is for the walking, to make the walk Look. in the afternoon. But we got special permission. Why? Because we're YouTubers and we celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> That's One funny. Day. You're so funny. You're One so day. full of it. Okay. Watch the strange expressions of the thousands of people that pass us by. No, luckily, it's raining today. It's quiet today. Nobody's out. And today, we are going to get a lot of paperwork and things sorted out, oh, which is always a fun job in Italy. Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's one of the most bureaucratic countries in the world. Somebody once gave me this advice. Don't expect the situation, whatever you're doing. Whether it's, you know, getting your license or a permit or something. Don't ever expect to get it on the first time. 
expect to go back three times and if you get it on the third time then consider that like good fortune you're lucky and that's kind of the attitude I have taken but it is very stressful I don't know if uh, any of you will remember there was a movie I think it was a Disney movie with Hercules and he had to do like all these challenges and one of them was he had to get a document stamped in Rome and it, it, it was like crazy because he went to one office they told him to go to another then he went to that and they said no that doesn't exist and this is reality we stayed here for a week without any gas without any electricity so no hot water because you apply for these things and nobody comes nobody comes Even to switch you on before we moved yeah. in it wasn't done it was, it was and so you know what it's we, like taking like cold showers and cold baths with little babies, babies it's yeah. it's tough yeah, yeah and even now how long has it been how many weeks since three we've weeks. been here? three weeks we've been in this house we do not have internet how can you vlog and put videos out on youtube if you don't have internet yeah. so you must know guys what a challenge this has been we've oh. been using our mobile phones we've been yeah. using all sorts of devices just to Give you guys videos walking the, the streets to find free internet oh. <laughs> we got it desperate sometimes if i go one more time down to the bar downstairs to get free wi-fi yeah. to send out some emails i think they're gonna it's crazy they'll have a picture of me do not serve this guy yeah. <laughs> so this is our frustration italy yeah. is a beautiful place a wonderful country to live in everybody wants to come to italy on holiday and rightfully so because it's amazing but there are some challenges that yeah. exist living here my italy I we love come it. from south africa you call you say i need internet i need a phone okay fine one week later they're even putting poles like in your garden digging holes one week yeah. later you have internet and a phone it's been three weeks and people can't get it right and to we're in a very just we're flick a, a switch it's because sweet. everything's set up give you a modem flick a switch boom yeah yeah <laughs> So we just wanted to fill you in on what's going on with our lives and so you know where we've been at and what we're feeling, what we're going through and, um, and we just thank everybody for their support. We've got a lot of friends here and in Switzerland that have really supported us a lot mm -hmm. and helped us a lot and we just want to thank everybody yeah. and, and thank everybody for their prayers as well for getting this awesome place. Yes. Thanks for watching guys. Just a little family vlog from us to you. Yeah. Stay tuned this weekend. We've got some awesome videos coming out. Yes. We have an amazing subscription box that you've got, got to check out. Yeah. From us to you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank bye, you for watching. Bye. <laughs> bye. Yeah, look, he's doing he's it. it. Wow. He's like, yo, yo, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Take you later. Take you later. <laughs> the little frowny face. He's got a bed head. Yeah. Hey, who pushed your hair? Who pushed your hair? Did you push your hair with a firecracker? <laughs> <laughs> What's this here?